So I just want to show you a little bit about how I think out of the box when it comes to breakfast. I'm not a good cook. I'm not even a decent cook. Uh, cook doesn't go with my name. And so I usually am trying to get some vegetables into breakfast because it's really hard to get enough during the day in all your other meals. So if you can include any vegetables in your breakfast, you're way ahead. This is a recipe that I found on Forks Over Knives and I've modified it quite a bit. So I'll tell you as I go along how I did that anyway. So the general idea of this recipe was to use whole grains on the bottom of your plate and steamed vegetables over it. And whatever whole grain you were gonna use, you should season it with vegetable broth if you have it, which I did not. The recipe actually called for rolled oats, like oatmeal, but I am using actual oats. So these oats I got from my health food store, my real food market in Delhi in town, and they are just like rice. And you cook them just like rice, about 45 minutes in water, the way you would cook brown rice. They are delicious. So that's what I'm gonna use on the bottom rather than rolled oats for mine. I did add a little bit of the chili flakes, and I added a little bit of coconut aminos, and I added a little bit of salt since I didn't use the vegetable broth, which is partly for flavoring and partly because it has a little bit of salt in it. So I cooked them in the water for 45 minutes, just like you would brown rice, only with a little bit of seasonings and flavorings with that. And then the steamed vegetables, they can be anything. So I went through my refrigerator and I got a carrot and I washed it off and chopped it up. And I found that I had some dehydrated mushrooms that I want to use. These are shiitake mushrooms that I get from Costco. I just washed them and I'll steam those. And the carrots and the edamame, which I got from Costco. They're in the pod, so you have to take them out of the pods to eat them. It is organic though. And if you have kids that'll help you with that, that saves a lot of time but otherwise you do it yourself. I noticed I was really underestimating how much to use to get a half a cup for this serving that I'm gonna do for myself. I could have as easily just used a little bit of green peas. These are frozen organic green peas that I get from Costco also. And it's just a nice convenient way to have them. You just thaw them in a little bit of warm water. They don't even necessarily have to be steamed very much if you use them that way. And always a little bit of lemon to bring out the flavor of these vegetables and the nutrients to help your body absorb those nutrients better. So that will be my breakfast. I'll show it to you in a few minutes when I put it together. Okay. If any of you have seen any of my other videos, you realize I do very little actual cooking, but I do use a steamer a lot, of course, because you can boil the water, but it's very easy to just steam vegetables and bring out the color. And that's what we'll be doing in this particular recipe. So I'm gonna add the uh, edamame at the end. I don't think it needs much in the way of steaming, maybe three minutes, but in this case, we will steam these a little bit longer. So the carrots were getting soft and I decided to go ahead and add the edamame and uh, the edamame takes about three minutes. In the meantime, my grains just heated up again in the microwave. You can also make grains ahead of time. Like today I only made one serving, but generally you could make, you know, three or four cups of grains that you can use all during the week for different things. So it's much more convenient if you do that. So remember, we're just steaming to bring out the the color in the vegetables, rather than to deplete them of the nutrients that they have. And so my veggies are ready. I'm gonna put those over the grain. This, by the way, is um, was filtered water, so there's some vegetable broth I could use for something else later. Like I said, I didn't have any this morning, but you can always use that when it calls for vegetable broth. You will just need to make sure that 
you probably have to add a little bit of extra salt because it won't have any salt in it. Place these veggies over my greens. We'll add a squeeze of lemon to the whole thing. And voila, we have our breakfast. So like I say, I've been wanting to try this all week. It's just an unusual recipe that you're thinking out of the box as far as vegetables for breakfast. So I've got my oats on the bottom and I flavored them with a little red pepper flakes and coconut aminos. And then I have my steamed vegetables on top, which probably are gonna need a little bit of extra salt because I didn't put anything on them, but I did put lemon and lemon will bring out the flavor and bring out the nutrients so you can enjoy them a little bit more. So this is really good. I really like the sweetness of the carrots and the grain at the bottom has the coconut aminos and the little bit of spiciness from the red pepper flakes. It's delicious. Everybody likes seasonings a little bit different. I really love the lemon on it. I think it brings out such wonderful flavors in all these vegetables. and. When you're trying to learn how to eat vegetables, you really have to experiment. You have to make sure that you're using things that help you taste them a little bit more because we're not used to tasting, tasting vegetables. Lots of times we don't know what a vegetable tastes like without salt and without anything on it. So just experiment a little bit. Okay, go out and have a great day.